Okay, so in the bunk room, um, I took the mattresses out. There's so there was four beds. I took a piece of Luan. This one just picks up, um, but that one was stapled down. I got that out, and I took all of the screws. There was screws inside of this closet that I'm hoping attached it to the ceiling and the back wall. Um, there's one in the ceiling I can't get out, but it still won't move at all. Like this moves a little bit, but I'm thinking it must be attached to the into the sides of the beds. So, all right. So, in case you want to do this, I'm trying to figure out how to get the bed apart. So, there's screws here, all along here. I got all of those out. There were some over here too, and I think those were all just attaching to this trim face here. But I still took them all out just to be safe. And then there was like one going into the floor got that and then i found there was one like toenailed into this corner down here so this is freed up you can see well i can see it's freed up here and i started to pull up on this and i think it is gonna come free so i think i got it and then um i'll have to figure out with what's left okay, i still don't have these out and i think i'd either if i was on my own i'd probably get a small sledgehammer and just tap this up and just let a couple of places break because there's three screws in there. Try to show you from this bed. If you look in there, see um, one, two, three. They're in there. So I'm gonna have to like crawl in that pass through. I tried to do it, like reach my arm around and I couldn't. And then there's a pass through door there. So maybe my husband might be able to just like lean in on his belly and reach i don't know i'm gonna wait for him at this point i'm getting kind of frustrated because i've been out here i'm just getting kind of frustrated because we've been out here all day and even though we have like a vast amount of acres and a big house like the kids all want to be in the camper with me while i'm working and i'm kind of just getting really tired so i'm gonna quit now <laughs> before i like snap <laughs> Okay, so the closet is gone. This upper bunk is gone. We cut this. This is staying. We're gonna build like a closet area over here because that um, pump has to stay there. And then this bottom bunk is gone. This one's still here for now. We might take it out and make it narrower. This side was quite a bit wider than the other side and so we might make that narrower but this is what it looks like now okay so in the master bedroom i'm gonna take this shelf out because it might be hard to tell but this is the front of the camper and so it's the wall is like sloped there anyway and then the shelf is there it hasn't been an issue for us to hit our head but um, what was an issue is I was in here at night and I was trying to read and the kids had gone to bed so I was in this room and there was no place to sit and lean against anything like you can't lean against this wall because of that shelf there so I was sitting like Indian style trying to read my book or laying on my stomach with my book on the bed and it was really uncomfortable so I'd like to get that out so that we have a place to lean at night while we're reading even though it is really handy storage and I'm kind of sorry to let it go. I think I'll add something else. To okay, so there was that shelf over the bed and it had two screws from the inside of the cabinet into the end of it. Here's the shelf. So it had two screws into the end of it, but then it had these three screws that were put in like they put this piece of trim on the wall and then they put this shelf over it. So... I just carefully, you can see the three holes, I just carefully tipped it down and then I just pulled it straight out so it wouldn't tear big holes. And it's not bad. I mean, there are some holes, but I think I'll be able to um, to sand them flat, fine. So I remember what I said about it getting to be a bigger and bigger and bigger project. Let me show you what happened. There's a hole in the floor now. <laughs> um, when we took the beds out and stuff, we noticed that there was like a little bit of squishiness on the wall and we weren't too worried about it. We think it's old. It's not, it wasn't like the wall isn't moldy. Um, and it's, Brian checked out the roof outside and it's all been fixed. So at some point though, it got wet 
And then when we were taking out stuff on the floor, he's like, I think we should just replace this because it's a little squishy. And then he put his foot through it and, <laughs> and he's worked on getting screws out and stuff. So we're going to be replacing the floor in here. Um, probably over here too. So it's not a big deal. It doesn't, um, it's not, we're not like upset about it or anything. I mean, it's totally fine. And like I said, it's not that there's mold growing or anything. Um, we've pulled back the paper that's damaged at some point. And so since we're doing this anyway, and since this is, you know, not something I'd want them breathing, we're going to take that out and replace it. So that won't affect my painting. It actually makes it easier because we're just going to replace the whole floor. So I don't have to tape off the floor in here.